Hi everyone, AppChasers.com here. Thanks for watching this video, and I'm excited to show you how to download the magazines uh, from JW.org that we're gonna be using in service every month. And the way that I'm gonna show you how to do that is by using an app called Workflow. Here it is on the App Store. This is the one you want, it's called Workflow Powerful Automation Made Simple. And what Workflow does is it allows you to um, really make your iPad or your iPhone into an automated machine. So it can do things for you, uh, whatever you want it to do, really. Um, in this instance, I've built uh, a workflow to go out to JW.org and download the magazines and store it into whatever app you'd like on your iPad or your iPhone, too. So uh, in this instance, you don't need to build the workflow yourself. If you have this app, you can just go straight over to appchasers.com and uh, download the workflow that I've already made to download the magazine. So let's go to the main page here on App Chasers, and I'll show you where to get this workflow. I'm just going to type in workflow. And in our search results, it's going to show up here this article that I want you to go to. In this case, it's the first one in our search results. It might uh, be a little bit different for you, but I'm going to tap on this one. Um, optimize your theocratic activity on iPhone and iPad. So we'll tap on that, and it's going to take us to this article that uh, displays a few different workflows that I've created over the past few months. Um, the one that we're interested in is the monthly magazine workflow that you see at the top of the screen here. Now, I've also got one for downloading the uh, monthly Our Christian Life and Ministry uh, meeting workbook as well. So you can go and watch that video on appchasers.com or on our YouTube channel. But in this one, we're going to do the monthly magazine. So all you want to do is, once you've got the workflow app installed, tap on monthly magazine, and it's going to give you a preview of what this workflow is going to do, which looks like a bunch of uh, mumbo jumbo, if you don't know uh, what the workflow app is actually doing. All you need to do worry about is the link on the left-hand side that says get workflow. So I'm going to tap on that and it's going to ask us if we want to open it in workflow, which yes we do. It's only going to ask us that the first time. It's going to launch the workflow app and then bring up this workflow that I've already created for you. So here it is. It's got a little introductory comment at the beginning that you can read. Basically describes what this workflow is going to be doing. But again, it's going to go out to JW.org on its own without you needing to go into Safari and uh, look for this month's magazine. So it's going to figure out what month you're currently in and then download that magazine. And it'll change automatically every month to download this month's mag. So I'll show you what exactly it's going to do by pressing the play button here, just to the right of center. The first time we run this, because we downloaded it, it's going to ask us if we want to run it. It only do, will do this the first time. I'm going to hit run workflow. And it's going to JW.org automatically. It's searching for the magazine. It's going to download it and give us this nice preview. Now this is January 2016 when I'm filming this video. So the magazine is the Watchtower. Next month the magazine will be the Awake. But uh, you can go on the right hand side here. There's these little thumbnails that you can skip through and see the different uh, pages if you want. But once you've confirmed that this is the magazine that you want, just tap the Done button in the upper left. And now it's giving us this alert that says, choose where you want this to save. So this is going to ask you, what app do you want to store this magazine in? It can't be stored right in the Workflow app. It has to be stored in a different app. So it's going to bring up this app picker. Uh, if you use iBooks, you could put it there. I like documents, personally. Uh, if you read App Chasers, you know I like documents by Riedel. So I'm going to choose documents, and it'll open the documents app, and it gives us the watchtower right here, ready to read or highlight or make notes, whatever we want to do. So I'm going to go back to my main documents view, and you'll also notice that uh, it named the PDF 2016-01-English. Uh, so 
that is going to signify that um, this is the art or this is the magazine for the month. So workflow goes ahead and renames it for us. So that's nice that it does that. Um, let's switch back over to workflow. And let's say you want to download next month's magazine instead of this month's magazine. Well, all you have to do right at the top of the workflow, there's a year. There's First of all, you see a date action and then uh, the year and then another date action and the month. All we need to do is if you want to go out and grab a future issue, we just need to throw in another action. So on the left hand side of the screen, you see our um, action picker. We can just tap on search here at the top and just type in adjust. Adjust date comes up and I'm going to throw this right under where it says the date action where it says current date and I'm going to add three weeks. Well, let's add, let's go ahead and add one month. Okay. I'm going to add, need to add another one too. So I'm going to go adjust date again. This one I'm going to throw right underneath the next date action, which is going to signify the month. So the first one was signifying the year. Next one is the month. The only reason we split that up is for when we go from 2016 to 17 or 17 to 18, um, you'll see sometimes it'll want to go back and grab the beginning January of the previous year. So we don't want to do that. So Let's go ahead and add that one month again here. That's all we got to do. So let's see what changed. I'm going to tap play here and it's going to go out to JW.org. Look for the magazine one month from now and then download that. All right, here we go. Here we have the Awake magazine. And again, it's showing us that preview. We can tap done if that's confirmed that that's the magazine we want. And it's going to ask us again where to open it. And again, I'm going to choose uh, documents here. So that I'll open the magazine in documents. So now I'd like to show you um, how to run this workflow very easily from the home screen on your iPhone or iPad. So we've got the workflow set up and all I'm going to do is tap this little gear icon in the upper right. I'll tap that. And it's going to ask us if we'd like to add this to the home screen of our device. So we'll tap add to home screen right there. And now it's going to give us some instructions here on how to add it to the home screen. But it's similar to how you might add any um, website to your home screen. Uh, that is to tap on this arrow, box with an arrow right there on your screen slide over to the icon add to home screen which looks like a plus button it's going to ask you what you'd like to name it that's fine for our purposes here and now we have a nice action or workflow to run that um, download anytime we'd like so what we can do is just tap on that at any time right from the home screen it's going to ask us this the first time and it's going to jump right in and run the workflow. So there you go. It gives us the preview and it's going to ask us where to save it. All right. So basically that's how to automatically download the Watchtower and Awake magazines uh, for their respective months through the year um, just by using workflow on your iPhone or iPad. Now there is a way to schedule this to run automatically too. And uh, we've outlined that in our um, how to automatically download the Our Christian Life and Ministry workbook video. So you can look for that one. Thanks for watching. And this has been App Chasers. Guys.